I'm Dr Daniel Lawson from the Institute for Statistical Sciences at the University of Bristol and I'm going to tell you about some data science I've been involved with. This is 2020 and COVID-19 has changed the world for everyone. As of now, October 2020, data science has been our biggest tool in fighting it. Mathematics is the key to understanding this epidemic. We have to be able to make predictions to know what to do. How do we make those predictions? Well, we build a model for how the epidemic might behave. These models are at heart, just as description of how the infection evolves. You might know about differential equations. These describe how something changes over time. They take into account the complexity of social groups and how people behave, and the uncertainty that is created by the fact that the epidemic can be sparked off by just a single event in some unlucky place. Then we look at the data. We learn which models are good and which are not. And how do we learn about this? Well. That's where the work for the Institute for Statistical Sciences come in. We think about how you learn models from data, how you learn whether there are any good and how you figure out those that are not so good. Now, I'll tell you a secret. Most models are not good. Making models better is a key component to fighting this epidemic. We have to know not just how to describe them, but also how to improve them with data. If I'm honest, I would say that it's a problem that data science wasn't better prepared. Society can't use data properly without having good data scientists in almost every element of the system. We just need more people as a society that have better data science skills. These skills are needed at every stage of fighting this pandemic. We have to ensure that we measure the data, not just any data, but the right data. We have to make decisions that are driven by these data. We need to understand the limitations that they have and how to squeeze out an understanding of what actions that we can take will do. But this is really difficult and is the key because we never get to see what happens when we try each intervention on its own. We don't get to see what each intervention does. We only open schools and pubs and workplaces and then we close them and uh, we stop people moving all as one package deal. So learning which of these interventions work, this is key. To get at all of that, it takes mathematics that is able to incorporate data and not nice data like we get from experiments, but messy, ugly data from the real world. There is a lot of this sort of data and it is very far from the data that we would choose. For example, we never see who is infected with COVID. We just see the results of the tests that they take. And these can give false positives and false negatives and are only applied to a very biased sample of people that is continually changing. The set of skills that are needed to solve this problem and any other number of other problems in the real world, this is what's called data science. It's a unique combination of statistics, mathematics, computing and machine learning and it's merging all the tricks that you will learn from your practical experience of doing actual analysis of the sort of data that the world is filled with. The world will not always be gripped by a pandemic, but the world will always need more data scientists. There are growing numbers of data science careers in government, in medicine and in healthcare, in specialist industries such as aerospace and genetics, in internet services, in company management. This is really good because the world will be better able to cope with 21st century problems if data scientists are everywhere. That is why the School of Mathematics at the University of Bristol created COMPASS, the EPSRC Centre for Doctoral Training in Computational Statistics and Data Science. A PhD is a real opportunity to turn knowledge into expertise. There are many core components of data science and those are covered with great care in a year of taught courses at the end of this, each student is an expert in turning data into knowledge using mathematics. And then you get to spend three years actually doing this, doing a PhD chosen from a range in science and industry, always with the core of mathematics that makes your skill set unique.